the dream I know Deep up my feelings feel Hello viewers, welcome to today's news. Here are the headlines. The presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party in the 2023 elections, Atiku Abubaka, raised an alarm over attempts by the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, to derail Nigeria democracy. Next after this we have, you cost your woes. Presidency replies Atiku Abubaka and PDP. But before I carry on with this news, welcome to Reality Letters, this your home of news and politics. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page yet, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our video. You can send in your comments and keep the conversation lively in our comment section. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for joining us. To all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy and stay connected. The presidential candidate of People Democratic Party PDP in the 2023 elections, Atiku Abubakar, has again raised alarm over the attempt by the ruling or progressive Congress, APC, to derail Nigerian democracy using deceptive device. He said that the party snatches, they grab, and they run. That is the agenda of opposition's parties, and the mandate was in the media to democracy. Atiku said this through his media advisor, Marzi Paul Ibe, in a status in Abuja yesterday. He explained that the ideal notion of democracy didn't just reside in a representative government, but essentially rooted in the plurality of ideas. According to him, he said for a system to be seen as truly democratic, it must necessarily accommodate oppositions and opposing views. Because it's sad and sudden that they have to see a trend whereby the range of opposition engagement has to continually be narrowed by the ruling party in Nigeria. Either through the electoral process where opposition parties are ringed out with brazen impunity or during the post-election court processes where the judiciary is conspicuously doing the biddings of the ruling or progressive congress apc so it has become increasingly apparent that the democracy in nigeria is in a state of ill health it gets more curious that all the states where the court has made controversial declaration are states being controlled by the opposition political parties from nasrawa kanu Zamfara and now to Plateau State, where we all witness a situation in which what the ruling party missed out on election day are being delivered to them through the courts. These are clearly ominous signs that threaten not just our faith in the electoral and judicial system, but investing that our democracy is compromised. It is also clear that the ruling party will not desist from this inglorious ideology of snatch, grab, and run away with power. It is even more worrisome that what is playing out now in the Plateau governorship election petition is a confirmation of the threat echoed by an APC lawmaker in a viral video that the ruling party will compromise the judiciary process to ensure their ultimate victory in the courts. Which means, these times, we are indeed ominous and the journey ahead in rescuing our democracy from these buccaneering power grabbers is a long one. It also means that every man and woman of good conscience should come together for this common patriotic purpose but we are not surprised by what is going on in lagos where tinubu holds sway as godfather's opposition became anathema everyone including judges are forced to join his party the few opposition members who managed to get elected were beaten to submission including at the lagos state house of assembly where the sole pdp member back in 2018 was suspended and arrested for gun running but mysteriously had the charges dropped immediately after he defected to the apc recently the assets manager corporation of nigeria withdraw a 35 billion naira lawsuit they had instituted against an opposition senator from anambra state less than 24 hours after he defected to the ruling party these are the crude methods that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has employed in order to reduce the ranks of the opposition and consolidate his hold on power. It is not mysterious that it was the same panel that sat and heard all the election petition cases from Plateau State before the Court of Appeal. How is it that in election cases where the PDP came first and the APC came second, the court ordered that the APC should be declared winner, while in election where the PDP 
came first and Labour Party came second, the court ordered a rerun in order to give the APC a chance of victory. As Justice Idati John Mohamed said in his validation speech, which has also been buttressed by Olumide Abata, the immediate past president of the Nigeria Bar Association, the judgments emanating from courts in recent times has always been questionable and it has shown obvious compromise. Mr. Femi Falana San put it recently that the judiciary under military detectorship was much more courageous and they had better integrity than what we have today. It's obvious that the APC has turned the once respected Nigerian judiciary to a cash and carry one. We are politicians who don't participate in primaries and named as candidates while actually winners of election are sacked for flimsy reasons. They simply deliver judgment but not justice. Apart from the judiciary, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu has already appointed his loyalists as resident electoral commissioners, who has now been confirmed by Senator Goswila Kwabio, his lucky who is supposed to be heading an independent arm of government. So this is how the APC plans to impose a one-party state on Nigerians. Eternal vigilance remain the watchword if Nigerians' democracy will survive the APC onslaught on our democracy. And the institution that are supposed to check the excesses of the ruling party. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Your contributions are in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Moving on to the next one, we have the presidency, third former vice president and 2023 presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, PDP, Alaji Ati Kwabubaka, to stop crying wolf over the court judgment that sacked Plateau State Governor Caleb Motwang and other elected National Assembly members, saying that the PDP was the architect of their problem. So, Atiku should stop pointing accusing fingers at President Bola Ahmed Tunubu over the court judgment because the cause of PDP's problem is that they fail to observe the letters and spirit of the law in choosing the flag bearers for the elections. This statement was issued by the Special Advisor of the President on Information and Strategy, Mr. Bayo Onanuga. Onanuga said that in the wake of the poor run of some elected governors of the party at the appeal court, that the PDP and former Vice President and his spokesman has become over desperate to hang their wolf on President Bola Metunubu and the judiciary, an important arm of government in Nigeria. So in blaming others, he said that Atiku and his party have failed to demonstrate whether they had done any so searching before going public with their wealthy, specious, reckless and irresponsible allegations. That why they do not hold brief for the judiciary that they urge Nigeria to discountenance the malicious allegation by the PDP and the candidate that President Bola Ahmed Tudubu as governor of Lagos silenced the opposition and corrupted the judiciary that he is planning to force a one party on the country by appointing loyalists as resident electoral commissioners. Onuga said that President Bola Ahmed Tunubu is a Democrat to the core and he is bold to say that President Bola Ahmed Tunubu has never interfered with the judgment of the judiciary, that he had witnessed how under his watch the PDP governor in Osho State defeated the APC at the Supreme Court. Similarly, that the PDP governor in Bauchi State also won his case in the appeal court beating the APC. So, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is not planning to impose a one-party state as Atiku has serially alleged and his party and spokesman have now parroted. So, these allegations are deliberately aimed at unnecessarily heating up the polity and causing disenchantment in our country. And they exist only in the imagination of the PDP and the former presidents. So guys, let me know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to with us.